Hey guys. All right, folks, we're here today to do a Patreon request from this Patrono right here. And the band is Wada. Wada. You know what I was thinking the other day? What? We should do a video where we put like black metal face paint on. Okay. And then we call each other and we go, Wada. Uh, Re remember that commercial? Yeah. yeah. Well, what was, what's up? Instead of what's up is Wada. Okay. But we got We can't do it in our house because I don't. Feel, I don't think it fits. We gotta go to some like furniture place or whatever and do it there. I think our goof. No, is... at a show. At a show? Yeah. You you pick out of different places. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm all full of ideas these days. I don't know, man. I thought it'd be funnier that we walk into some random ass store with face paint on and just scream water at the people. No, like have. <laughs> And get kicked out. No, I mean, I'm, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I'm just throwing ideas out there. They're going to be playing in Toronto in September. We could do that at their show. That's true. We could do that at their show. So I think these guys are also missing an opportunity to have their own water bottle branding. Water, water bottle? Water, yeah. Water bottle? Water bottle. Like, <laughs> water come bottle. on. Fuck, these I guys like are they're, they're so missing opportunities here. And then just, it's vodka. It's not even, it's like not even, it's like a glass water bottle that says water, but it's vodka inside. Because I don't think they'd sell real water. Ah, oh, right. All right, all right, Dude, all right. that's a perfect idea. I know, idea. I'm not saying, I'm that's not. That's so like hotcakes. I'm not Imagine judging. Imagine a water bottle, but it's filled with vodka and it says water. Come on. And they can charge like great goose prices. Exactly. All right, so I'm drinking a Tim Hortons because these guys are assigned to a Canadian label. So I figure it doesn't get more Canadian than some Tim Hortons while watching their music. Exactly. Uh, not that Tim Hortons is paying us for fuck, any of this. Tim Hortons, please pay us. Uh, fuck, they don't pay their employees, never mind us. That's true. So anyways, you, you should know that. I you work know. there. So the name of the song is Retroversing the Void. Man, this sounds like scientific. Scientific? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it does. See what I did there? <laughs> It's like the metaverse, but they're retroversing it. Oh my god. Fuck. They're retroversing the metaverse, which means that they're just going back to things the way they were before the oh, metaverse. Say, that, that means that Mark Zuckerberg is going to be in this... Uh... No, no, he's too busy looking for the other turd to have a fight with. Man, I would love to see that on free pay-per-view that I stream illegally. Oh, what? Uh, Mark Zuckerberg versus uh, Elon, Elon Tusk. Musk? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. So anyways... Mean Elon uh, Tusk. Tusk. Fuck. There's a movie I don't want to watch again. Um, one of the worst by Kevin Smith, by the way. Even so, he would admit it. Come on, he has And there's going to be a sequel. And he hasn't even re replied to our idea. I know. Fuck that guy. Fucking Kevin. God damn it. I was going to call him fatty, but he's not fatty anymore. I'm, I'm no, more fatty than he is. He's lost He looks good. I know, since he had that big heart attack. Look Kevin Smith. Please take my idea. I know. Fuck you, Kevin uh, Smith. Take my idea and pay me for it. Exactly. Exactly. And let me be part of it. Uh, dogma is dog shit. All right, so uh, are you ready for this? Yeah. Let's do it. Damn, your neck in the coffin. It's finished.
That was an experience. It was uh, almost as good as the one I've been having lately watching this Down Syndrome dating show on Netflix. It just shows you that if you lower your expectations, even you can find love. What? Well, none of them so far has done something like the, the girl from, uh, uh, what was it, uh, the Jewish matchmaker? Which she was like a massive girl and she's like, I want a buff guy that goes to the gym every day. And I'm like, girlfriend, girlfriend, <laughs> girlfriend come on, <laughs> girlfriend. At least these guys, uh, which is uh, down dating or down something. Uh, the word down is on the title. Uh, they're all from New Zealand. So they're kind of from down under too. Um, so at, at least they know like, hey, I know my limitations. I'm kind of looking for somebody with similar chromosomes. Are they uh, all and... down, with Down syndrome? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, like, the way you were wording it, I'm like, wait, are these, like, really ugly dudes who are, like... No, 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 no. No, 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 okay. No, so, like, it's really interesting Fuck, because... you can make a TV show out of anything. This just proves it. This just proves it. It also makes people feel like who are single, who are not, uh, who don't have any disability, visible or otherwise, feel like shit. Because even these people can find love because they, they, they break it down to, like... To, to the simplest forms of what they're looking for. For them, it's not about... I can't believe we're even talking about this. It's nothing to do with the song. Yeah. Uh, um, for them, it's not about uh, how you look. It's about what kind of person you are. Yes. They're looking for somebody who loves them, who's kind, yes. who, who's nice to them, who, who's going to be there for them. Like, all the things we should all be looking for. Not like, if she doesn't have big boobs and, and a big ass, I'm not interested. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. Like, some of the guys like, oh, you're beautiful. And I'm like, fuck. Not only has Down syndrome, he's also blind. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. A horrible situation. Horrible. I gotta say, though... I'm waiting for the show called Blind Dating, where everybody is blind, blind and they're dating. I'm waiting for that. That's it, just around the corner. Funny, it's it, just it, around was, the it corner. On, was it Jerry Springer, where this guy, he brought on his white girlfriend... And he didn't and, know he, she was she white? Did, uh, no, she didn't, she didn't know he, he was, was black. black. <laughs> and she's racist. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that. And then she got up and walked away, almost hit a wall. Uh, uh, love is blind. That's what she said. Love is blind. I don't know. Love is blind. Uh, I'm, I'm black. And then he took her hand. All right. Anyways. But it takes it takes a show like that, right? Where, to be honest, I'm surprised there was not like any any uh, hate when that idea showed up. Right. No, I'm glad that they did it. I think I'm it's super very cool. glad that they did it's it. It's very because, well done. Because watching it, watching it actually teaches you that fuck. People need to watch this to get their themselves straight. Like they need to yeah, watch yeah. this to get their. Uh, whole before we get to the song, I just straight. want to say one more thing. There's a family there, a husband and wife. They're a little bit older. Well, they're older now, but they had three kids of their own, and they said that they wanted a challenge in their marriage and in their parenting. So they adopted two kids with Down syndrome, and the two kids are are on the show now looking for for dating. I mean, that's that's like that's something. Like I know a lot of people with three kids would not even get a dog. <laughs> Talk about challenges. Not even a dog. That's so. just fucking hilarious. So these That's people, so funny. It's funny, but it's like impressive. No, it's like, impressive and funny, but it's so funny because it's like... You want a challenge. Uh, three kids isn't enough. Bring... bring like, anyways, I, I, I applaud the them. Fuck, that's I, a, I applaud them, though. Like, pro at parenting. They went pro. That's Premier League-esque. Uh, I know. That's like, that's Champions League. That's Chelsea this season. They had three and they signed two more. <laughs> they had three midfielders already and they signed two more. Just in case. Just in case that the three got injured. All right. So now that we've uh, talked about everything but this that's incredible all, song sorry, and video. That's so funny to me. We, we needed a challenge. These three have I, been... I'm not paraphrasing. That's exactly no, I know, what I know. said. That's exactly These what These three were too easy. <laughs> Someone was... one. But when I got pregnant with the first, people were telling me how hard parenting would be. But it wasn't. These three were so easy. I need some... I need some... Bring, bring it some on. some challenges. Man. Bring it on. It's like Mortal Kombat. Just bring Just it. Just bring it. <laughs> yeah, it was The Rock. Uh, she went to that, uh, to that adoption place and she's like, bring it. Went to the adoption place and <laughs> like... Okay, listen. Who's the hardest case out there? You know, <laughs> which one gives you guys the most trouble? I'll take them off. Your or hands. which, or which one nobody's looking at picking? No, I think it's which one is giving you guys more trouble because they wanted a challenge. Yeah, yeah. They gotta go to the people and ask them what their challenge is, and then, <laughs> fuck, that's hilarious. That's so funny to me. I'm sorry. I've never, I've never heard ever the Brahma bull of parenting <laughs> over there. All right, Fucking so master prestige of parenting. Anyhow, getting God back, damn. getting back into the song. Uh, and, and, and what a, what a, what a, 
Let's get into water. Yeah. By the way, uh, a couple of things I want to say. They have a new album coming out. This song is from their upcoming new album. I think it comes out September 8th, uh, either September 1st or September 8th, but I'm really leaning towards being September 8th that the, the album comes out. They're also going to be doing a North American headlining tour. They're playing in Toronto uh, with Cloak, and I believe Ghost Bath is also on that bill. So that's a fucking... Talk about a great black metal, black and roll, whatever the fuck you want to call it, depressive black metal. Like, th there's a little bit for everybody. Yeah. There's a little bit for everybody. Uh, but one thing for sure, there's a lot of black in it. And metal. And metal in it. So uh, go, go check out their social media, find out where they're playing, and go check them out. Um, so what do you think about this song? The song brings you on a fucking journey, but I, I'm, I love Through it. space and time. I, I know, but I loved every moment of it. Even saw the fucking Quake logo. When there was that half moon and the, like, the little sticks underneath, it's a Quake logo right there. I have no idea what you're You know what Quake is? No. I thought you were... I just know Quakers. I thought you were old. No. Damn. Anyways, um, all the, the gamers out there will know what I'm talking okay. about. Anyways, uh, yeah, I mean, the song brings you on a fucking journey. And, and to be honest, I enjoyed every minute of it. I mean, the more r rocking... The more rock... There was some really rock and roll riffs yeah, there, Yeah, like, though. the more rock parts got me that black and rock feel that you know I fucking love. Um, the vocal is very consistently good throughout the entire track having that great atmosphere, great atmosphere that they brought. Um, but also just bringing that black metal feel to the song. Um, because the song did have a lot of, like you said, a lot of rock influences in it. There's a lot of rock, rock riffs. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. There's a lot of I rock mean, they, riffs. they, they dirtied them up a little bit, but you can tell that they are rock riffs. Yeah. 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 Um, <clears throat> the entire song though, top to bottom. I mean, I was entertained throughout the entire thing. Eight minute song doesn't really feel like it. No, and 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 the same thing with their live experience. When you go see them live, you 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 you're not trying to to think about a set list in terms of song song song. When you go see them live, is about the experience. So you just sit back or stand up or whatever the fuck you do when you go see them live. Let them play and just fucking enjoy that journey into the pits of darkness that they take you on. It's not one of those bands that you're like, oh, they play this song, I'm fucking looking forward to this specific song, or whatever. No, for them, uh, you might be looking for specific songs, but you're, for me at least, I, I walk away with the experience of the set. Of how it was to listen, to go from the first... Point into point B. The fir first second of the set to the last second of the set. That's, for me, the experience. And this song is a little bit of a microcosms of that. It, like, really microcosms of that, because it's like black hole and traveling through like the retroversing of the void. Uh, so a anyhow, I, I, I really love the experience of this track. Uh, the, the vocals are, are, are very dissipated into the sound. So it's, it's at, at points, it's hard to tell where the vocals end and where the sound starts. It kind of, kind of blends into that void. The two kind of become one. That allows the track to have a huge footprint. This is not one of those songs that has borders that you that you can feel like the track can only go from here to here and it's kind of boxed in into this in, into this paradigm that that it, it doesn't move beyond that that has a very prototypical approach and it's boxed in there. This song there's no box, it's just the void. So the sound travels it, you don't it, you don't it travels to a point where you feel like it at the end of the sound the sound is still going but it's not going into an abyss. It's kind of like just moving like slowly away it's like you're looking at the horizon when the sun is coming down and it hits the the the, the water line if you will and it starts to dissipate into the water almost like it's uh sinking into the water yeah, yeah. this song has kind of that vibe just the way the sound comes across and the vocals being blended into the sound those rock riffs in between like those pockets of of just almost pure rock and roll riffs it allows the song to breed at times. It allows the song to have ebbs and flows and breed a little bit better so that it allows the track almost at eight minutes long, not to feel eight minutes long, to feel like a nice, interesting, engaging journey. But if the song sounded very driven, very dark, very black metal from beginning to end, it would be just such a overstretch of, of, of what a listener can really engage with so having those those um, instead of having atmospheric pockets because the song is already very atmospheric as a whole inserting those rock and roll riffs th does the same thing that if the song was more black metal driven and having atmospheric pockets so you're using the same design or, or the same process if you will just with a different element yeah. and, and i think it worked really well I, I honestly i really enjoyed this song same and the album doesn't have a lot of tracks i think the album has like five or six songs 
but every song is like seven minutes, ten minutes, so like, suck. Press play and go. Exactly. I, don't, I feel like when you finish the album, you're not going to be like, I really like this song, I really like this song. It's like, no, no, it's about the experience. About the experience, just like seeing them live. Yeah, yeah. I think that's how they, I think that's how they work on their records anyways. All right, guys, this is it for today. Wada! 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 That somebody's got to do that. Maybe that somebody is us. We'll see you all at the next video. See ya.